Um, um, And this is going to be such a big intro because I look disgusting but I'm going to be doing a makeup declutter with you guys so you can see um, my makeup collection is already quite small because I did quite a big clear out recently um, before my last makeup collection I can't remember when that was but when I moved rooms but now it's going to be much smaller because there's a lot I need to get rid of um, just because I just want to keep the products that I know I'm going to use rather than just keeping products for the sake of it so I'm going to try and be brutal and I'm going to get rid of as much as I can Oh, I'm nervous. Anyway, let's get on with this and I hope you enjoy. So I don't think I made this very clear in any part of the video, but all of the makeup that I've got rid of is either really old or I don't use it anymore. So the stuff that's really old, I just put in the bin and then the stuff that I just don't use anymore, I have given some to my sister, some to my mum, some to my friends. So it hasn't all gone to waste. It's just the old stuff that just shouldn't be used has gone in the bin. Um, So I just wanted to kind of say that because I don't think I made that very clear in this video. Okay so this is like my first drawer as you can see they're really dirty me <laughs> cleaning but most of this is probably pretty much decluttered because I did this recently oh, this is so gross so I will be keeping I think all of these sprays because they're really good um I then just have this one primer which is a studio 10 highlighting primer which is really nice but I only ever really use this in the summer and that just fits there which you can't actually see on there here i have my foundations so this revlon color stay i'm obviously keeping it is my favorite most used foundation then i think what shade is this i am going to keep this because this is more of a summer shade and this is my favorite foundation um but i will be getting rid of this one because it is just too dark I'm going to keep this Bourjois Radiance Reveal Concealer because um, it is too dark now, but it's the perfect shade in the summer. I'm going to get rid of the Revolution Concealer because it's literally empty. I need to get a new one. I'm going to keep the L'Oreal True Match because this is my favourite. This is in 1N. Perfect for under eyes. And then I'm also, I think, is this empty? This has got a little bit left, so I'm going to use it up. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer um, in number 5. Don't have much left for keeping it. And same with the Sleek Life Proof Concealer. Um, this isn't my favourite consistency, but it does cover quite well, so I'm going to keep that. Um, I'm going to get rid of this BB cream, um, purely because it's just too dark and it's really old now. And then powder-wise, I'm going to keep all of these. Um, I just have a baby powder. The Maybelline Matte Maker, I need to get a new one. <laughs> and the Revolution Bake and Finish in the Ghost Powder. Um, I don't really like this, but it is really useful for when I need it. So I'm going to keep all of them. Okay, so here are like, I guess my palettes mainly and a bronzer. So I think, is it time to finally get rid of this? I just never use this Wet n Wild bronzer, so I think it's time to get rid of it okay then i have this palette this is the revolution ultra contour palette it is beautiful as you can see i've used up a lot this is probably my all-time favorite palette i use it every single day this is the perfect contour shade for me i'm going to be keeping this but i am planning on buying a new one very soon so as soon as i buy a new one i'll be getting rid of this just because i love this shade so much i'm keeping that i then have the tanya burr cosmetics peachy glow palette and i just never use this i never use it this is a really pretty highlight but i've got really similar in other palettes so i think i should just get rid of it this is the revolution ultra blush palette in peach glow i love this peach glow no in golden sugar two rose gold i was gonna say that's wrong this is the prettiest highlight shade and that's so pretty in summer but i just love these two highlight shades and this is just a beautiful palette so i am going to be keeping this say hi to the camera okay so i've got those two palettes there um i'm then going to i will be keeping oh gosh the zoeva spring strobe spectrum palette um, they're really different highlights than I normally wear, but I really, really love, which one is it? I think it's this one. Yeah, I love this one for inner corner highlight. I think it's so pretty. So I will be keeping that palette. I don't think that closes like that. It's too high up. Yeah, no. Okay, we're gonna have to find somewhere to keep it. Um, and then I have the Revolution Imagination Highlight to the Moon Palette 
This is new and I do really like it, but these shades are just not right for me to contour. I really, really like these for setting my eyeshadow and these two highlights are so pretty. This one especially, I just love. So I am going to keep this palette because I regularly reach for these shades and these are quite good if I want a bronze, they just aren't good for contour. You can see I don't have many. I do have that palette, but then I just have these. This is my favourite blush and I wear it pretty much every day now. I never used to wear blush, but this is the Soap and Glory Glow All Day. I think it's actually a highlighter. Yeah, but I use it as a blush because I'm pale. So it's just this like peachy kind of colour and it's got a bit of shimmer in and it's just a really pretty natural blush. I just really, really like it. So I'm keeping that one. Um, I then have this Revolution blush. But I think I'm going to get rid of this because I'm pretty sure I have one very similar in a palette. Yeah, I think they're the same. So I'm going to get rid of that one. And then I'm going to be keeping my sleek rose gold blush because this is a really nice wintry blush. And I do reach for it quite a lot. So I'm keeping two blush. Okay, now I have my contour stuff. Um, I'm going to keep this collection pre precision contour because... It, I found it to, oh I can't even open the lid, um, I found it to be really useful doing like just random makeup looks like Halloween and that kind of stuff, so I am going to keep it purely for that reason, um, I'm going to keep my Too Faced Chocolate Sole bronzer, I kind of forget it's there, but I really really like this for bronzing, so I'm keeping that, and then obviously I'm keeping my Hoola bronzer, I use this literally every single day, I don't know how it's not got lower, but I do use it every day and I love it. Okay, so from these, I don't really use liquid highlighters, Barry M liquid chrome highlighter drops. Um, I really like this to put on like my shoulder or my collarbone in the summer. So I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep this one because I think in the summer when I'm tanned, this will be really nice. Highlight, this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. So I think I'm going to keep it for the summer. Um, but I'm going to get rid of my collection Speedy Highlighter because I always keep it. And it's so pretty, I just never ever use it and it's really old now so I think I should just get rid of it. Okay, then this is my main highlighters. So I have my Chanel highlighter, um, but it's so pretty and I love this. So I'm definitely keeping that, but I'm going to get rid of this pouch because I don't need it anymore and it's just annoying. And then I've got the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal in like the small form. I actually dropped this and broke it, but I think I'm going to get rid of this one because I've got the matching liquid one. And I would just rather use the liquid one than the powder because it is slightly too dark. So in the summer, it would just be really nice to use the glowy look with this one because that's really pretty. Um, I then have this Revolution highlighter, but I'm going to get rid of this because I never use it anymore because I found other highlighters by Revolution I love. I don't feel bad. <laughs> and then I'm going to keep my Urban Decay Naked Illuminated. This is technically a highlighter, but I use this as a blush and it's so pretty. So I'm going to keep that one, but hey ho, we're going to deal. So at the back, I have my Morphe palette. This is probably one of my all time favorite palettes. So this will not be getting rid of. As you can see, I have hit pan on a couple shades, but I actually love this. My favorite shades are probably those two. Yeah, and I love this one. Oh, I just love it. It's my favourite palette. This is the Morphe 35OM. I've got this, which is probably my next favourite drug... Oh, this is like my drugstore stuff. And singular eyeshadows. So this is the Revolution. I can't remember what it's called, actually. But it's just all of these pressed glitters. And it's so pretty. It's not going to focus. It's just so pretty. These two... They're literally just so nice and they add so much glamour to your look. I just, I can't deal. I actually love it. And I've got this palette, which is the Be Obsessed palette. I haven't used this that much recently, but I do really like it. So I am going to keep it. I really love these two shades. I then have my Revolution Soph palette, which is actually broken. I'm going to lie, I don't use it anymore. Like, I just never reach for it. But then again, it has got some really interesting colours, so I don't know whether I should keep it. I think I'm going to keep it for these weird, wonderful colours, which I could use for if I'm, like, trying to be cool, <laughs> you know? I keep this MUA palette because, um, it's, firstly, it's so interesting, but I used these shades the other day to do, like, an eyeliner, and it looked so cool, so I'm keeping it purely for that reason. I think this is a disco palette. Yeah, the silent disco palette. I'm keeping that. It's not really going well. I haven't got rid of anything. I kind of... Most of my eyeshadow stuff I've cleared out a lot, though. Okay, this is the Stila... Oh, I really don't want to get rid of this. The Stila um, Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. This is so pretty. But 
it's literally just run out i've used it so much there's barely anything in it so i'm gonna have to get rid of it but i am gonna want to rebuy this is this in kitten karma it's gone and then i bought this collection glam crystals i thought this was going to be a cheap version um turns out it doesn't dry down very well um and it's just it's just not as nice so I'm going to get rid of it because I never use it. Um, I then have these Barium Loose Glitters. I'm going to keep number 27, which is like a gold colour. But I'm going to get rid of 39 because it's just too pink and I just don't do pink eyeshadow. So I'm going to be getting rid of that one. Oh gosh. I'm going to keep this NYX Glitter Crystals because they're just really cool and holographic. And they're just cool. And... Is it time I get rid of this? I think it's time I get rid of this MUA eyeshadow. It's so pigmented and it's so pretty, but I just don't use it. So nice, but I just never use it anymore. So I'm gonna have to get rid of that. This is my high-end eyeshadows. So I have like all of my Urban Decay ones and then my other ones. So I'm just gonna go through these. So this is the original Naked palette. I won't be getting rid of this. I think it's really pretty, but also you can't buy it now. So I will be keeping that. Um, I then have the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. Is that broken? No, it's not. I hate the packaging of this one. It's just the worst packaging. I hate it. Um, I really like this palette. This was my first... I think Was it my first one I got? Oh, no, I had the Naked 3. Anyway, this is just really pretty. I love these shades here, and I love these green ones. Um, I will be keeping this. I don't use it that often, but there's always a time where I want to use it, so... I'm just keeping it for that reason. I'm not going to be very good at getting rid of eyeshadows. I really like it. Um, I then have my Naked Smoky palette, which I literally wanted so badly. It is really pretty. I don't know. I just don't really use it. It does have interesting shades, which is why I kind of want to keep it. And I just want to keep... I think I'm just going to keep it. I'm not even lying to myself. I want to keep it. And then I have my Naked, um, Naked Heat palette, which is so pretty the one thing that i like hate about this palette is how there's literally no light shimmers like all of the shimmers are very dark so you end up having very dark eyeshadow but i really really love like these colors palette um this is really old and i probably shouldn't use it i'm gonna get rid of this because i don't use it often um i think it's just a waste keeping it i have my Too faced natural eyes palette i don't ever use this anymore I really don't, but I don't really want to get rid of it, but I just don't actually ever use it, it's just not my shades anymore, they're too cool tone, so I think I'm going to say goodbye to this. This is my first Too Faced palette and I literally just fell in love with it, but it's just not the thing anymore, they're just not my colours. Okay, then I have my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, which is kind of a bit destroyed, um, I love this palette, I, when I first got it, I was kind of disappointed um i don't like to, oh i can literally smell the chocolate look at that look at that let's try it. i have to stick this on all the time i'm disappointed when i first got this palette but i don't know why because now i actually love it and i use it so regularly i use like these three colors as a combination like these three and they're just so pretty i actually forgot there was a pink in here Anyway, I'm keeping this for sure because i use it all the time i have my anastasia modern renaissance palette again love 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 just i love i love this gold shade primavera i love it and i also really love these shades here i never really use the pink ones but if i am going to do a pink eyeshadow look which is rare i will use these because i think they're so pretty and it does come out really well packaging and then i've got my zoe Vuk coco blend eyeshadow palette i got for was it my birthday yeah, I think it was my birthday. I really like this. Again, I always stick to these kind of shades. But, I and this one, these create a really pretty look. And when I'm in the mood for it, I really like it. I also love this shade. Like, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, this is my eye drawer. Um, my other eye drawer. I don't even know. Um, I have an old sponge. Why have I not got rid of that? I have an old sponge that's broken. That can go. Um, I have my actual sponge, which I keep in here just to not make the rest of my drawer messy. Um, I have these eyebrow stuff. I have the Freedom Eyebrow Pomade in Blonde, which I use every day and I love. So that can stay. Um, this Dior thing, though, is going to go. I don't use it anymore. What's the point in keeping it? Um, okay, then I have my eye primer. This is the Maybelline Colour Tattoo in number 93. Love, love, love this. Okay, then I have my eyeliners, and I'm not going to lie, I can't do eyeliner, but I'm going to keep these because recently I've been trying to do cool stuff, 
with my eyes and so I would like to keep that. Um, I'm also, do I keep this or do I get rid of it? I think I'm going to get rid of this sleek glitter eyeshadow, eyeshadow eyeliner just because I just don't use it and I've got really pretty glitter eyeshadow now so I don't need it. Um, does this still work? I'm going to keep this eyeliner. This is the sleek dip it eyeliner in black. It goes matte. Um, I'm going to keep this because if I do want to do eyeliner, I can try it. I'm just not very good at it. So I'm going to keep it just in case. I have all of my mascaras. Recently, I did a very brutal mascara clear out. Um, I probably... There's a couple I just need to get rid of. So I'm going to keep my Lash Sensational, even though I haven't used it in a while. But I always go back to it. So it is there for if I want to go back. I'm going to keep this. This is probably one of my new favourite mascaras. The L'Oreal Miss Baby Roll Mascara. I really love it. Let me show you. It's just really nice. I really like it. Then I also love this one. This is the Wet n Wild. I use this every single day on my bottom lashes. So that's staying. This is my all-time favourite mascara. It's kind of drying out. But I do use it every day. So... It will be staying until I can afford to buy a new one. Um, then I've got the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara, which I'm going to keep. Then I have this set. I'm going to get rid of these. These are just fibres you put on your eyelashes, but they just go everywhere and they don't really work that well. So I'm going to remove that. And then this is the actual mascara. Um, it didn't work very well. So I'm going to get rid of it. It just didn't keep my eyelashes up and I'm very particular with that kind of thing. So this drawer is probably the one that needs clearing out the most because it's the one I own the most of and it's the product I wear the least, like by far. I have my lip balms, my liquid lipsticks. I've got makeup all over these leggings, they were clean. Lip liners and lip crayons, lip glosses and lipsticks. So you can see I have quite a lot of lip products and as I said, I just never really wear them because I'm very particular about it and my lips go dodgy. I have dodgy lips. Anyway, so lip balms, um, I'm going to keep these two, but I'm going to get rid of these because I just never use them. Um, I usually just use Vaseline, but every now and again I do like those two. So I'm going to keep them. They're the Nivea ones. Lip gloss is my favourite lip product to wear. Um, I'm going to be keeping this L'Oreal Dazzle because I love it. This is in 210. I'm going to keep my natural collection one because it is my favourite. This is in caramel so shortcake or sh car yeah, caramel shortcake. And then I'm going to keep this number seven one, which is going to stay. That's in ballerina. But I'm going to get rid of this L'Oreal Glam Shine one. <laughs> the lip crayons. Um, I'm going to get rid of the L'Oreal Glam Shine one because it's just not my colour. Right, time to go through them. Keeping this Revlon one is my favourite. It's in number 700. I love it. It's probably one of my favourite shades. To get rid of this Primark one, just because it's too dark and I can't get any more of it up, it's really broken. Lip liners here, so there are quite a few. I'm going to get rid of this sleek one in Raspberry, just because it's just too pink for me. Um, I'm keeping this one. This is... Oh. I don't know what one it is because it's all rubbed off. Because I've used it a lot, but I am keeping that one. Um, this is one of my favourites. This is a collection one. Uh, it's like a lip definer. I th it's like, I think it's caramel something as well. Um, I'm going to get rid of this one. This is in the shade Current. It's by Sleep. Uh hello i'm gonna get rid of this one it's again it's just too pink for me um i'm gonna keep this sleek one in sugared apple just because i have a matching lipstick and it just is very good it's useful for like shows and christmas uh this is my all-time favorite lip liner this is the mua one in caramel nougat and it's got sharpener i'm gonna keep this collection lip definer in nude pink because it's quite nice i'm literally dropping things everywhere get rid of this one because it's too peachy i'm gonna get rid of this one because it's too pink and i think i'm gonna keep this red one no i'm not i'm gonna get rid of this red one as well it's just not as nice as the other one so i have this jeffree star liquid lipstick from katie in androgyny i think it's too pinky for me and i didn't realize until i got it like she just gave it she'd bought it but it didn't match but i think it's just too dark 
so I might see if anybody else wants it. Thank you, Katie, anyway. So I kind of made that sound like it was a present and I didn't like it. Katie bought this for herself and she didn't like the colour, so she asked if I wanted it and I was like, yeah. But turns out it was just too dark, so I just wanted to say that. I have now given this to another friend who likes the colour. So thank you, Katie. Um, I've already told you that it was too dark. Anyway, I just wanted to say that. I have this Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Colour, which I really love. Um, this is in 645 Eternity. Really like this. It smells amazing too. Get rid of this NYX one. It's just too dark for me. I'm going to get rid of this Rimmel Apocalypse. You can't see. Again. Rimmel Matte Apocalypse. You're going to focus. This is going. It's so old. It's so orange. It can go. Um, this is the MUA Velvet Lip Lacquer in Hustle. I just don't like the consistency of this and they make my lips sting, so it's going. Velvet Kiss by Collection. I think this might be dried out. Yeah, I can't get any product out of that, so that's going to have to go. I really loved this when I had it, though. I have the Manhattan Soft Matte Lip Cream. Let's give this a try. How have I still got stuff in that? I've had it the longest. I'm going to keep this because I do really like it. Um, then I have the Bourgeois something in 31. I, again, I really like this. I love the consistency. I love the smell. I love the colour. So this is staying. Then I have two sleek matte lipsticks. I'm going to keep the red. Um, but I'm going to get rid of the purple. Actually, I think I should keep the purple for Halloween. Yeah, that's a Halloween shade. I'm keeping that for Halloween. These are expensive lipsticks. They're cheap lipsticks. Time to go through them. Oh, my MAC lipsticks I'm really like. I don't want to get rid of any, but I feel like I should. Syrup. Oh, I don't want to get rid of this. I think this was the first one I bought. It's syrup. It's just too pink, and I just don't wear pink lipsticks anymore, so that one's going to go. Velvet Teddy, this is going to stay, it, do, it is broken, it's come off in the lid, um, love that. I need to get a new one of these because of that reason, but, oh it's so nice. I have Spirit, which again I really like, it's another really nice brownie shade, so that's staying. Verve, which is this really dark, like, it's like a ready brown, um, do I want this? So I think that's going to go. I've spent so much money on this lips makeup though, I didn't really get rid of it. I have Whirl. I really like this for winter. kind of forgot about it this year. I bought this two years ago in the summer. really like that. I have Taupe, which I do really like this. I think it's a bit orangey red. This is a very autumnal colour. I am going to keep this because I feel like I might want to wear that in the future. Then I have Peach Blossom, which is just, it's just too pink. It's just too peach. Like, I never ever am gonna wear that okay i've decided i'm gonna keep verve as well and then i've got my ysl lipstick which when i first got it i really didn't like but i've recently been wearing it a lot and i really like it it's not showing up um it's a very like pinky kind of color i think it's in 47 beige beige blouse I know, something like that. And it's just so pretty. So that is staying. MUA black lipstick. That's going to stay purely for Halloween reasons. This red one's going to stay purely for show and like dance reasons. This one's going to go. This one's going to go. Real Kate Moss. Um, that's going to go because it's very similar to Verve. And I may as well just keep my more expensive one. This revolution. That's going. <laughs> it's broken. Oh no. That's going. This MUA one. What does this look like? Hmm, I might keep that. Keep MUA ones together. Did I drop a lipstick? Yeah. Makeup gallery. This is gonna stay. This is a really pretty summer one. Hmm. I think that's gonna go. L'Oreal. Gonna stay. One of my faves. Boy, that's gotta go. Hey. So this is everything I've got rid of. As you can see, there's a lot of lipsticks, and there's quite a lot of like face main face stuff so oh my god i can't believe i'm getting rid of all this stuff but i have kept quite a lot but then i have got rid of quite a lot so my makeup collection is a much better size and it's pretty much got only things i am going to use so i'm quite pleased with that so we're just going to go through all of the makeup now that i'm keeping so there's this drawer which is pretty empty that was kind of empty anyway this drawer which needs organizing still but it's empty this drawer, which is 
very empty. Oh, there's something back here. <gasps> I didn't know this was here. This is a keep. <laughs> very empty. Very empty. Empty. Wow. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all soon with another one. Bye.